All right, in this video, we're going to see how to do question four on the practice for applications for E8. And we have a population with mean 143.1 and standard deviation 45.5. We're going to draw random samples of size 40. And then we want to know the probability that a sample is going to have a mean greater than 156.8. So let's write down the mean and standard deviation of the original population, 143.1 and 45.5. Now what we're actually doing is creating a sampling distribution when we draw these random samples. Uh, we're drawing samples of size 40. And when you do that, the resulting distribution is a normal distribution because of the central limit theorem and because of the fact that the sample size is bigger than 30. And the mean of this sampling distribution is actually the same as the mean of the population from which it came. But the standard deviation is not. The standard deviation must be adjusted. We take the original standard deviation, which is in B3, and we need to divide that by the square root of the sample size that we're using. And that's the standard deviation for the sampling distribution. Now you want to look at one of these samples and see if its mean is a certain range you need to use the sampling distribution. And that's what we want. So we want to know the probability that one of these samples has a mean greater than 156.8. Um, the probability that the random variable is greater than a number is going to correspond to the area to the right of a certain value. Now when we're finding probabilities for the normal distribution with Excel, we use the norm dist function. But the norm dist function finds the area to the left. That's the probability that the random variable is less than some number. And we want the area to the right. So uh, we just do a 1 minus, right? The area to the right is 1 minus the area to the left. And then we put in all the numbers. So we want to use an x value of 156.8. And the mean for the sampling distribution, which is in B6. And the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, which is in B7. And put a 1 for cumulative. And this should be our answer. Rounded to four decimal places, we have 0 0.0284. Now, we should be able to get this same thing using the TI graphing calculator. Again, you need to use the normal distribution. So we go to second bars, the distribution menu, and we use normal CDF. And the lower bound is the 156.8, and we want to know the probability that it's greater than that. So the upper, if you want it to go all the way to the right, you just do 1 E99. The mean, we can use the population mean, 143.1. Point one, and the standard deviation we need to adjust as we did before take 45.5 and divide by the square root of 40. Or if you have an older model go ahead and type in this. You'll get normal CDF and then put the 156.8 comma 1e99 comma 143.1 comma 45.5 divided by square root of 40. And we get the same number. And of course it's right.